Sorry, sorry, I'm late. Um, <sighs> hi, did something happen? I was nervous and tried to get myself together. <laughs> oh, no reason to be nervous, superstar. Okay, <laughs> I am so excited to meet with you. This, I'm just your mentor. This is not a, a job interview, so uh, please relax, huh? I'm excited to meet you too, and please do not take my tardiness as disrespect. Gina, dear, relax, eh? Relax. <sighs> <laughs> I'm Marie, and it is a pleasure meeting you. And I understand and respect your apology. Hmm? And because I see light years of potential in your eyes, I am going to tell you what all people running on color time need to know. Hmm? Our time is the most valuable thing we have. We never get it back. Now I understand why you're late today, but uh, as you progress and move forward in your career, remember you represent Haitian women. You know, so many of us come here, struggle for work and fall through the cracks by mistake. The more people have a positive image of us, the better. I completely yeah? understand. I completely understand. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, uh huh. Ah. Okay. I know babysitting pays well, but you should consider maybe working as an assistant in a private practice. Huh? Working in the front desk will teach you the structure and the general workings of the medical field. That's how I got started. Hmm? Thank you. Of course, of course. Tell me about you. Huh? I, your dean sent over some of your information when he connected us. I know you have great grades, a lovely smile, <laughs> no boyfriend, I hope. Oh, no, 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 no. I learned my lesson Books mm -hmm. first. Good. Good. I was born in Haiti. I was born in Lakai, actually. <laughs> My goodness, I'm from Lakai. I was adopted as a baby, so most people can't really tell I'm Haitian. I know this program is mostly for real Haitians. <laughs> oh, oh, what do you mean? You are a real Haitian. Well, I was raised by white people. Haitians come in all colors and you still have Haitian blood. That's true. I guess I just don't feel Haitian. Typical transracial adoptee nonsense. I'm caught in between two worlds and black one didn't want me. Hmm. I've been here for 21 years now and I've changed. I am a different woman completely, but you cannot run from your blood okay. you're right yes you're right my parents fought to make sure i could keep contact with my grandmother and stay in touch with my culture for years i would ignore her cards but reconnecting with her has been affirming mm. i mentioned that i was into medicine and she said that her nieces and daughters all went on to be pharmacists or nurses that's one of the things that brought me to you it's in your blood. And she said I should consider being a nurse, like my mother. Wow. 
That is a profound origin story. Your grandmother is very wise. Hmm? Hmm. So I know there are, it's wonderful to be a doctor. Okay, we have many Haitian doctors now, but nursing, nursing is a feminine power. We don't just walk in a room, talk for 15 minutes and leave the client behind like a, like a piece of meat on a chopping block. We have a profound impact on the day-to-day -day lives of people. Hmm? Hey. There was a woman last year who had an aneurysm, okay? She was about to go in a course and she was making dinner for her church when she fainted. Now the doctor said she was going to die, but me, I knew she was going to live. Why? Because I watched people come and pray for her, come and cry for her. Hmm? I felt the energy change and made space for it. Hmm? I made sure that every person responsible for her spiritually felt hope. Now she was Haitian too. I stayed with her three nights a week. Now there's not, there's a lot we don't get credit for, but her full recovery was credit enough. That's amazing. I make less than a doctor, but I make plenty of money. I have time for my family. I spend time with people. Gina, <laughs> I am going to be, uh, how they say, real with you. Eh? Real? Real? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is important to me to get smart girls like you under my wing. For transparency, the more girls I get like you, the more likely the college will fund a full-scale mentorship group. I want to build the next generation. I can see you care about people. I can see it. <laughs> you should definitely continue considering nursing, eh? Well, I am. I'm strongly considering it. Good. Good. Um, I never had a daughter of my own, so I take this mentorship seriously, very seriously. I can be a resource for you moving forward. Eh? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Do you have any questions for me, eh? Yeah, um, it's a little st strange. Safe place. Go ahead. Do you regret leaving Haiti at all? You're right, that is strange. I'm sorry, I I'm just, I'm curious. Ah, oh, you're curious. No, oh, it's good for the field, but you should be careful how you talk to people. I'm sorry. I'm no, I'm not offended. I'm not offended. I've been there and done worse. <laughs> Once there was a coworker of mine who was crying because she missed her daughter who was in IT. Our supervisor was raging at her one night and I asked my supervisor, I begged her, please understand. I told her that uh, my, my coworker was a... <laughs> feeling the pangs of missing her child. Ah, my supervisor was a mom, so I assumed that she would understand and be kind to my coworker. Mm -mm. Little did I know that my supervisor preferred to hire women who had no children. And my coworker had lied because she was desperate to get work. If I had stayed quiet, but I didn't, and my coworker suffered for it. So, soft place, don't apologize. Is this normal, women leaving their children? Well, yes. Well, what, what, what? It seems evil, like Medea slicing the heads of her babies. They are good. I know them like the back of my hand. I eat with them every day. <laughs> Yes. I, I always stories, their stories, their stories keep me awake at night. So please 
I always think of the children, but they're both in pain. Well, they, there's a gift that fills them for years, but they know the truth. There's a lot of bad things in the world that have to have happened to a woman for her to feel she has to choose between herself and her child, that she may not have a choice in having a child. I love my people, but um, the things I endured made me leave. When a man can have his way with you and the women in your family ask you what you did, anger will fill you. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. As is life. Hmm? Bad things happen here in America too. Bad things happen to me. But I had choices when they would happen. But that was by design. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, Gina, you have to understand, okay? I had two choices when I wound up pregnant. Drown or make a new start in America. So no, I will never regret coming to America, even if you can't run from your blood and mine runs from the streets of Haiti. Anyway, <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why I'm telling you this. This is frankly unprofessional. I am sorry. Um, I feel comfortable with you, okay? Soft place. <laughs> soft, soft place. Hmm. Marie, I haven't been honest with you. Hmm? My grandmother named me Emmeline. Her name was Anid. We were both born in Lakai. I spent the last six months looking for you. I think you're my birth mother. I, I think you have me uh, confused. No, and, no, and, I, I'm and... very aware of what I'm talking about. Do you realize how strange this is? There have been so many times where I wanted to find you and ask you why you left me. And I'm not, I'm not here to attack you. Okay, or demand a, re a relationship, I have a life. I had your name for two months before I reached out. But when I saw you were mentoring girls at my school, I saw it as a sign. A man had his way with me too. And it was hazy and I thought I loved him. Everything just happened so fast. He didn't even consider if I wanted it, he just did it. Maybe that makes you sad, huh? That I'm your flesh and blood and the blood came back and men soiled both our rivers. After it happened, I thought my body left me. Weeks passed and I bled no more. Choices, we all have them. You chose life, but you also left me behind. In any case, I turned out all right. But the world is getting stranger every day and I couldn't guarantee the child would be okay. We're in a pandemic, we're still in a pandemic. I mean, look at how we're talking to each other, it's crazy. But I thought I hated you. I wanted to be a good woman, the type that doesn't leave people behind who makes space. But would it being nice get me? A closed mouth when he raped me? Well, I cut the blood, terminated the pregnancy, and I thought I hated you. <laughs> but I lived a little. And I can see now why you made the choice you did. I had to learn what it means to, to choose me. And I felt it was so selfish. Hmm? but I can't take care of a baby. So thank you. Once the villain to my story, the selfish mother who abandoned me. But you chose yourself. 
which in a way is heroic. So really, mom, thank you for teaching me to choose myself. Are you even interested in nursing? I don't know. <laughs>